Hi, good morning. Welcome to the outdoors again. Today we are going to take a look at shadows. If you were with us uh, for a couple lessons ago, we looked at shadows, but today we're going to look at shadows caused by the, uh, by the light source, the sun. So let's go ahead and take a look at our shadows. Right now it is about 8.15 in the morning and let's look to see where um, the different shadows are. So here is my shadow. You can see how my legs are super stretched, still connected to me, and the direction in which the shadow goes off. Let's take a look at my dog. Same way as he moves, the shadow is still at the same angle that's connected to him. And again, you can see the same thing that hit the legs of his shadow are super long. Let's go ahead and also look at the pole. And you can see that the position of the sun casts all the shadows in the same direction there. You can see from the trees, you can also see from the truck. So the thing that we're going to look at today is how as the day goes on, how does the shadow change as the sun's position in the sky changes? At the end, after we've done our experiment, we're going to make a sundial that you can use to actually tell time. So I will meet you back here around lunchtime and we will um, check our shadows again. Again, you wanna to try to stay at the same spot and make sure that you pick an open field so that you are sure to have um, the sunlight at all times of the day. Alrighty, I'll see you back in a little bit, bye. Hi, it is almost one o'clock and we are going to take a look at our shadows we are in the same spot where we were this morning because remember shadows will fall on either side of you depending on where you are in relation to the sun so for this experiment it is important that you're in relatively the same spot each time you check your shadow at different times throughout the day so let's look at where our shadow is right now around one o'clock so there are my feet you can see that my shadow is much shorter i'm actually standing on my legs and it's right next to me if you look at the cars you barely see the shadows at all the pole you barely see the shadow let's look at the dog so again you can see that the shadow is directly under cooper it's not sticking out way to the side like it was before so again it's right afternoon um it's actually one o'clock Right around noon, the sun is directly straight up in the sky. So you can see that even though it is an hour past, the sun is still fairly straight up in the sky, which causes the shadow to be um, close to directly under us. So we will check back here in um, a couple of hours later in the evening around um, five or so, and we will check to see how the shadows have changed once again. We'll see you in a little bit. Hi, it is now six o'clock. Let's go ahead and take a look at our shadow. So now you see that the shadow is going the completely opposite direction as it was this morning. And once again, it is tall and it is stretched. Let's go ahead and look at the dog shadow. Again, everything is going at the same angle. This time now, because the sun is on the other side of us, the shadows are now cast on the opposite side. So you can see a huge difference between the shadows at 12 and the shadows from now. So let's go back inside and learn a little bit more about the shadows and how we can actually use the moving shadows throughout the day to help us tell time.